What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more One Piece. Today, we're doing episodes 345 to 348, continuing Thriller Bark. Very excited. Don't forget, if you guys want early access up to 16 episodes, as well as the full uncut versions, check out the Patreon. Links are down below. We are live streaming all reactions nowadays. So come on over to the Twitch. It's always a vibe. Twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. And check out the other social medias. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's hop right into today's episodes. 345. Let's do it. All right, guys. This is episode 345. We're starting. He is looking for a wife. He's been saying that. You're human? I mean, I guess I could see it. You just got a cat's face on you. What the hell? You're a zombie warthog who's dead and rotting. Oh, and he has now signed almost. That is a marriage registration form. Hell no. That's saying I love your wild mouth is crazy. Bride foo. Uh, yeah, shout out to the women who take charge and uh go after your man. I I respect it. Oh, it's over for you. I have a feeling. The info that Absalom was trying to grope Nami is going to come out. And it's going to be Nami versus Lola. That should be an interesting fight. If that's what happens. See, I've already picked a woman who's soon to be my bride. And Lola is not going to like that. I love how I was able to read that immediately. Here we go. Here we go. We have one of our fights locked in. First fight. Don't kill her. Me either. That made my hype levels literally double. <laughs> Quit oinking and lead the way. What's his name? Oink Chuck? Something like that? Hmm. Is it gonna be the portraits? Oh, no. Maybe one of the ghosts? The hell is that? A spider rat? I like her outfit, though. Like, I like the... The heel boots, whatever, with the little pink kawaii vibe and the umbrella. I could see, like, actual women wearing her outfit. I just think she's a little creepy right now. We've got the luchadors squirrel and the other squirrel with the coffin that currently holds Usopp, Nami, and Chopper. Yes, he did. I need to know more about Ryuma. Ah, you guys could have been chopped in half had it been the other side. So sh I guess somewhat shout out Ryuma. I need to know why he sounds like Brook. I need to know what Moria was going to do with them. She's thinking about the Brook Ryuma connection. Oh, he was talking about the treasure as well. If, where do they store the treasure? Yeah, as your eyes are blinking with berries. Yeah, back behind us is the mansion with the samurai. Ahead of us is where we were taken to turn into a zombie, so... That is a real fork in the road. I just love the way penguins wobble. Hmm, that last one's exceptionally ugly. The dog face on a penguin? Oh. Verona Summer's Wonder Garden. 
all the zombie animals she deems as cute. There's a disturbing number of super freaky critters, for sure. I like koalas. They are kind of cute. Whatever the f that is. Is that a snake bird? Okay, Chopper. Way to take the lead. Damn. <laughs> well, Usopp's handling the little ones. Ooh, ooh, he's got the he's got the hands. Do can Groose have paws? I don't know. What, what would you call him? We need Luffy with the Afro bat from Long Ring Longland. Ooh. Oh. Good. That was definitely not intentional, but good job. Hey, sure, roll with it. Roll with the punches. No pun intended. <laughs> that was also kind of clean. What the hell is this staircase? I actually like the shot, though. What the hell is this staircase? What in the Harry Potter? What in the Scooby-Doo? Guys need to join the Olympics. Those are some good jumps. No, don't start taunting him. Usopp, now is not the time. He's a can He's a can You know how kangaroos can jump so far, my boy? Man said, eat fart. Ooh, that was clean. That was well done. Bro, what are these episodes? Is it on Absalom's orders? Is that Sanji? That just sounds like a Sanji thing to say. Because he said that he had last arc when he was fighting Khalifa. Even if it cost him his life, he's not going to hit a woman. Now Zoro's gone. Are those rat spiders, like I said? Oh. Yep. That's creepy as hell. But what are these episodes? What in the hell is going on? All right, on to the next episode. This is 346. All right, Luffy. Straw hat night. I would like to don a, uh, a suit of armor at one point just to know what it's like. That's a solid argument. You're not, you know, he's not wrong. Could this be what? That maybe is one of the zombie generals. Good dodge. Good block. Always get reminded of Kratos from the new God of War games, how he can turn his little waistband into or arm wristband into a shield like that. Shout out Frankie. Okay, hit him with a strong right combo. See, that's what I'm curious about when it comes to defeating these enemies. Is it just pure force? Like other enemies, or how do we kill a zombie? How do we stop them, you know? Oh, 
Ooh, good shot. Perfect timing. I just love getting Frankie fights in general. I'm so happy he's part of the gang. He has literal spears embedded in him, Frankie. It's going to take a lot to take him down, but what all will do that? Oh, he's fast as hell. Good block. If he weren't a cyborg, I think that would have cut him in half. Respect. Or robust warriors who made names for themselves when they were alive. Kingdom's captain of the guard, heinous criminal, legendary samurai, pirate gun. He's, you know, with on top of being somewhat immortal and not feeling pain at all, that is quite the buff. We have the entire general zombie guard in here. Especially that centaur elephant looking man right there. Alright. You want her to not kill that woman, yet you keep taunting that in her face. See, I respect a woman who goes after what she wants, especially her man, but this is a little deranged. And he's only kicking. See, this is what makes me think this is a Sanji penguin. And he said I'm the newest member. All we need is a little doggy cigarette in his mouth and it'd be perfect. I feel like I can hear Sandy's voice in his voice. I genuinely feel like I hear it. Little do you know, we just spent all of our money. So we should not theoretically have a lot of treasure. Okay, we get to see what happens to you when you get taken and turn into a zombie. Are we going to get a Zoro zombie? Imagine Zoro zombie versus Ryuma, who I call Zoro zombie. Gets knocked out. So it's not his body that's getting turned into a zombie. It's more of his consciousness getting embedded into a zombie. I assume... That guy is literally like an elephant centaur. He looks like he could be like a character in like Kingdom Hearts. Hmm, I love it, I love it, I love it. That's the thing. What do we do against these guys? They do not feel pain. Frankie said we would just expend too much energy even trying to fight them. So how are we going to... We got to get into that courtyard. Probably expend a lot of energy, but I would try to do just have Robin do the clutch on all of them for a second. Well, but that only lasts like a second, you know? I wonder if we take out Gecko Moria. That'll like stop all the reincarnations. I have no idea. Gonna hit him with a Gatling. With like the armored fist, I like that. One sword style. Oh, is that a zombie Zoro? Not quite Zoro, but it is Zoro at the same time. See? I love how they had to show that. Kind of, kind of resembles him in the silhouette, his voice and his moves. But no, it is not. It is a zombie embedded with Zoro's. That is quite the interesting outfit. I won't lie. 
even in the little zombie mouth too. This is the rat zombie trying to get him. Wrap him up and take him. See, like, these fights just aren't fair. They're literally undead. They come with so many broken... Ooh! Look at Spider Robin. Again, her power is... The utility of it is so amazing. And that outfit. I must agree. Looks very good on her. The purple in general. Hey! Repair the buckets? Oh, God. It's just not fair. They just have buckets of water on deck. Hey, I'm telling you. You think Robin is not going to defend herself? She's, she's that girl. He's in a coffin being transported to Moria. And then his consciousness is going to be put in another zombie. We have to get him out. Now, who on earth is this? Oh, way bigger than I thought. I know spider monkeys are a real thing, but they do not look like that. How is this going to go down? We lost Sanji. We lost Zoro. We lost Luffy. How is this going to work? All right, this is the next episode. This is 347. OST does go hard. Meanwhile, we have Sanji Penguin on our side helping us. Look how strong he is. Just cut that mace in half. I can literally hear Sanji's voice. It's so funny. Love. <laughs> oh. so he still does have his zombie orders to do whatever that may be but he's a part of his core is still there and his core would never hit a woman you know so that's where that plays in oh hell no this is horrible timing now we have lola and absalom here Princess Carrie Val, you gotta hold her, you gotta carry her. Bro, Lola is different, I tell ya. Like, if I just heard the voice and I didn't know, I'd be like, hey, Lola sounds hot, but. <laughs> it's a different kind of fight. He's fighting for his life. She's fighting for love. I want to know what she looked like before she was a boar. Or what her human form looked like. Oh, like I said, this is worst case timing. Wretched cat burglar. Get it, because Absalom has the face of a cat. Sanji for the win. I guess Sanji Penguin. Is this how we're going to get Sanji's general fight? It's going to be him in <laughs> penguin dog form? Bro, what is this arc? You guys are hilarious. Absalom's invisible again. Look at that shot they get of Nami right up the... <laughs> We'll hold the wedding ceremony. Already dealt with the preparations. I want to know how Absalom can go invisible. Yeah, that was a crazy scene. I had to appraise your wares? Okay. That's insane. That's insane. Good work, girly. Fuck Absalom. We didn't appreciate what he did to our woman, to our girly girl. 
But now Lola's gonna go at him even harder as she hurt Absalom. He's gonna take it as love. You were. They do say love is like a, a lightning shock, you know? So. So they're, yeah, they're directly under Perona right now and won't even listen to Absalom. Interesting. Okay, that was, okay. What was that? And I wonder if we kill... The dog penguin that holds Sanji's conscious, will he go back to being in his normal body? I have no idea. And I really want our straw hats to be reunited again, back together, but <laughs> everything is going to shit right now. Why don't we split up? That would not benefit Nami because we know she's going to go after Nami. No, Ami says, like, I'm going to wait for you guys. Try to bait me out. Heck no. I don't think Lola's after you guys right now. I think she's only after Nami. We shall see. He scattered my ashes in the East Blue. I got you, Usopp. One of the benefits of having a jealous woman. She only focuses on, on somewhat the wrong things. Yeah, we do need to protect her because Lola does seem quite strong. We're helping her out. I like the slow mo. Bro, Lola is huge. Still got to deal with the spider monkey. Still got to deal with saving Luffy. Zoro and Sanji are already hoed. They're getting pinched. They're getting surrounded. Okay, he's whipping out the vents. Blow them all off the bridge. Blow us away. I love me. Blow the bridge up in its entirety. That is quick thinking. Because they have somewhat mobility in the air with Kuda vents and uh, Robin could start spider manning. Ooh, Robin, that... Look at the con... She can make wings with a conglomerate amalgamation of hands? Bro, I say her power is so useful all the time. This takes it to a whole nother level. For about five seconds. I like how it's just not insanely broken. Oh. So that was one of the sickest Robin moments. Understandable. Robin is so gorgeous, too. Just everything she does, I tell you. Oh, so graceful. <laughs> Music is hitting right there, too. That was sick. That was sick. Uh oh, Spider Monkey's already getting back up. They're all getting back up. With the limited time we do have now that they're down there, let's get going. Let's go save Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji. Rook! The way they're animating him falling, I know they said he's insanely light and super agile, but. I just want to hear yo ho 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 ho. Kabone? Instead of kaboom? What the hell? What kind of ending is that? No preview for me. All right, this is the final episode of the session. This is 348. I always be forgetting.
Hit her with a tranny twist. It's a good play. My friend. I'm Namizo. Yeah, oh, that was quick thinking, we'll say. Now they're having a girl to girl instead of, but Nami's a man now. He's resisting because he's conscious. That's crazy. <laughs> no, ch okay. Chopper's so innocent. I love him. Uh, don't say that out loud to her. She might hit you. And Absalom's here. This is a very interesting <laughs> addition to the situation. Yes. Shout out Nami for the quick thinking. And shout out Nami for the dick thinking, if you know what I'm saying. What in the hell is going on? These are the three, I call them Lock, Shock, and Barrel, that we're letting Moria know. We actually get to see him for the first time? Oh, he literally looks like he should be a Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, legitimately. I know I said that about a lot of creatures here, but legitimately. Yeah, little do you guys know we're broke right now. Summoning the three phantoms. We're on number 900. What is going on? So this is Gecko Moria. <laughs> Baka. I think that's the first time we've heard someone else say that. Besides Ace wanting to be wanting to make white beer that. This is getting interesting. Gecko Moria. King of the fucking reanimated pirates. Is that not Corona's right hand man? That is. Kumasi, is that his name? He's over here doing string art. I remember doing that as a kid. He's like, no, I, I haven't seen him. Or maybe he's going to say they're in me. Pause. You're very harsh because he's a bear. So the three phantoms, one of them's Absalom, one of them's Perona. Who's the other phantom? Hogback? Sindri? You guys are literally in a stuffed zombie bear. Except you guys are the stuffing. The Humming Swordsman. Why are they nicknaming Brooke the Humming Swordsman when Ryuma the Humming... Wait. Is it if you... I'm just trying to process and theorize in my own head. If you steal someone's shadow like Gecko Moria does, does that put your consciousness into a zombie? Is that why Ryuma has Brooks? consciousness just like how penguin dog has sanji's and i'm just trying to put the pieces together i'm i'm intrigued don't actually answer that for me but i'm curious why brooke and ryuma sound alike yeah based off that outline you'd think you'd be able to guess that see as we show mm -hmm. Oh, spider monkey's already coming back. 
Hey, hey, monkey, monkey, monkey. That's where he can spew silk from his web. Not his butthole. He got like a butthole on his hand. Spinnerets. Close his eyes. Hmm. That would hurt like crazy. That was a good play. What weapon did you whip up? Double extra large nunchucks. Heavy Nunchaku. I'll never get over how much I like Frankie's theme. He's whooping some spider monkey ass. Tararon? Tararon? I love how Zoro Zombie is running the opposite direction. Like, man, is still gonna be lost no matter what form he's in. So we lost our heavy Nunchaku. I just love every time he does that. Goddamn rat spiders, man. Bro, how do we defeat zombies that can't feel pain? It just seems like no matter how much damage we do to them, they're chilling. The spider mice. Fuck them, man. You know what can break through silk if it's not a human? Maybe a humming swordsman? Yo ho ho ho! Brooks hitting that. He's hitting that. Yo ho ho ho! Yo ho ho ho! I love his cane as a sword. He jumped that far. <laughs> he finally fell down. We just saw it. Please give me some information. Yo ho ho ho. Yo ho ho ho. Three pace hum. That's exactly the same shot Ryuma did. Notch exactly. He cut his ass in half. Don't end right here. Bro, now I want more answers. That man, Brooke. All right. Uh, this arc is interesting, to say the very least. There's so much. Someone had given me $1,000 to accurately predict anything that's going on in this arc. I would not have $1,000. From the zombies and how unique they are with their personalities to absalom and perona to gecko moria wanting to be king of the pirates to brook being ryuma something along those lines i'm very intrigued i need to know more about moria's power how he steals your shadow i assume puts your consciousness or something in like i don't know what the details about that but everything with nami saying she's a man to sanji penguin Peng penguanji not hit like it's so funny zoro zombies being lost as well there's so many hilarious i can see why people say this is the funniest arc there's a lot of just hilarious moments i just don't know how this is gonna end like this is so interesting the transitions into these arcs are so and i can't wait to learn more about brooke everything his singing is amazing so far these zombie generals seem kind of broken and unstoppable so does gecko moria and i love how hogback was my main intrigue going into this arc when we you know hearing about him and seeing him now I haven't seen him in episodes. Where the fuck is Hogback? What's he doing? And Sindri. Like, I'm so curious. So intrigued. That's the one thing I say I am. I, I am so intrigued. I want to know more. More world building. More answers. More about Brooke. More backstories. A lot of things. Um, Yeah, I am enjoying this arc so far, though. Very much so.
hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section if you guys want up to 16 episodes early access as well as the full uncut versions check out that patreon like i said we're always live on twitch watching these it's always a vibe so make sure you come on over and give a follow check out the other social medias instagram twitter tiktok all of that for darius i appreciate you don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out